Welcome to Macedonia and welcome to a brand new series where I'll be taking on the challenge of seven Balkan countries before dropping down into Istanbul and beyond to discover more of Turkey. Now I'm currently in a beautiful little town called Prilep, basically in the center of Macedonia on a plateau surrounded by mountains. I hope you enjoyed my little snippet of the journey to get down here from Skopje. Very enjoyable train ride, cost the equivalent of about three euros. And uh, today we're going to kick things off with something special. Now it's going to be about 30 degrees outside today and admittedly I'm not the fittest person in the world. So the obvious thing to do is walk up a mountain and get sunburn, right? But that's exactly what we're going to do. So join me as we discover Marco's Towers. Let's go. She's been dropped off by the taxi at the foot of the mountain now. Not gonna lie, it looks like a bit of a intimidating climb from here. I can't say I'm looking forward to it at the minute, but our first stop is gonna be something known as the Elephant Rock. And in just a second you'll see why. Now sometimes these rocks that are supposedly shaped like animals or other objects are fairly tedious, but this one's a pretty good one to be fair. Anyway, onwards up the mountain. Now as we leave the elephant rock behind, there is a tiny bit of breeze, which may be my savior ascending this mountain. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around, so looks like I've got the place to myself. You can see from the scorched earth behind me, this area has obviously been devastated by wildfires. I did unfortunately see literal flames in the forest and the mountains on the way down to Prilep yesterday from Skopje on the train. Oh, I feel like I'm certainly taking the longer route here, up this winding road. I got a taxi to drop me at the foot of the mountain and he didn't want to drive any further. And to be honest, I don't want to walk through the long grass if there's snakes and potentially small fires. So I'm just going to have to brave it and keep on heading up this path. And in case you're wondering, it's bloody hot. Just stop for a moment to get my breath back, take on some water. I did actually see a couple more people hiking. It sounded like they were speaking Macedonian, so maybe not tourists, but there is someone up here other than me. As we've just passed the first big switchback, you can now see the valley on the other side all around me. So much for getting my breath back. That lasted about 30 seconds. This is hard work. Why do people go hiking for fun? They do it for the content, bro. bumped into a German couple and they reliably informed me that I'm pretty close to the top now. So it looks like the German couple I just passed down the road, they weren't having me on, it was pretty close to the top. As I'm now starting to reach these ancient buildings. So let's go and explore.
is we've reached about as high as we can go now atop Marcos Towers or as it's known in Macedonian Markova Kuli we now begin our descent down and I'll tell you a bit more about the history of this place let's get back down the prolep off we go Towers are situated northwest of Prilep in the Varosh area and are named after the medieval prince Marko Manjevcevic. The oldest remains on the site are from the Hellenistic period, which is over 2,000 years ago. There are also Byzantine remains from the 5th and 6th century, Slavic settlements from the 10th century, and evidence of a settlement known as Keramia from the Roman period. So as I reach the bottom of the hill, next to old Nelly the elephant again, and in the heat of the midday sun, I know it's midday because the call to prayer just went off of the mosque down the road. So before my camera boils over, let's end the video there. Don't forget to hit the like button. Normally helps the video get seen by more people and subscribe for more travel adventures because there's a lot more coming from Macedonia and far, far beyond. See you next time.